Now, the royal family took to Buckingham Palace over the weekend to celebrate Trooping the Colour. And while thousands gathered to get a glimpse of the monarchs, it was once again the youngest royals who stole the show. He's the young royal the world has come to know and love. And over the weekend, Prince Louis did what he does best, pulling a range of funny faces while watching the Trooping the Colour military fly pass. And it's not the first time the cheeky youngster has captured our eyes. From being unable to hide his boredom, with a big yawn at the King's coronation, to a tantrum of royal proportions at the Jubilee celebrations. His unpredictable behaviour even catching his own mum off guard. So we will behave, you think? Yeah, I hope so. You never play no kids. No, not with kids, that yeah. And while Louis may have won us over as the Prince of Charming, more pressure is on big brother George as heir to the throne. But as William and Kate attempt to raise their children equally to lead the monarchy as a collective, what does that mean for the future of the firm? And Royal Editor for the Daily Mirror, Russell Myers, joins us with more. Good morning. So it looks like the Cambridges are raising their children as a collective. What does that kind of mean? <laughs> <laughs> well, what does it mean? Good morning to both of you. Well, I think, you know, we've heard a lot about slimmed down monarchy over the last few months and years, haven't we? Certainly King Charles's vision of what the monarchy would look like was set out many years ago as he was sort of preparing for the top role. And with that also means that uh, William and Kate have been elevated, of course, in their status. And their children have been. Of course, they're getting older now. We're sort of working out what George's role will be. And the pressure just sort of isn't just on him. It is going to be on Charlotte and Louis as well. Whether they will end up being full-time working royals, who knows. But mm. the sort of stage is set probably to make their own way in the world. And I think that's what sort of William and Kate want for them. Maybe it's a bit of normality as much as possible, but also sort of uh, giving them tools to if they want to enter the firm at some stage. Well, every generation kind of learns a little, don't they, of how to manage life as a royal. And the biggest problem, obviously, that we've seen recently is, is William and Harry and the heir and the spare mentality. They're trying to avoid all of that. Well, you say that. I mean, there are obviously a few some bad apples in, a, in in this family, and certainly you know with other families as well. I'm sure. However, um, it, that is certainly the way that they're trying to sort of mould the family to try and sort of learn from the mistakes of the past, I suppose. And that spare mentality is quite prevalent now, isn't it? We've had an awful lot of talk about Harry's uh, sort of trauma and the torment or that he had whilst working or being in the family. And certainly William and Kate won't want that for their children. And I think you look at the way that they structure it. They're, they're there at pick up. They're there, to, they're there to take their children to school. They do family holidays. They do things a lot differently to the sort of people that have come before them. And that can only be a good thing. Yeah, times have changed, haven't they? Let's talk about this uh, story overnight where Prince William has come out and said he wants to end homelessness. Well, yeah, I mean, it's a pretty bold statement, isn't it? I mean, it's an, a huge, huge problem, certainly in London and across the country. And of, of course, at wherever we travel across the world, it's an issue. And, and Prince William has seen that. And he said that you know, he's not going to shy away from exposing his children to that element of society. You know, they talk about it on the drive to school. They talk about their privilege. And, you know, this is something that he's been passionate about for, for a long time. I mean, back in the 90s, Diana was a patron of homelessness charity. She took her children and William has sort of taken that on from his mother. And, th and this week we're going to see a big launch of a new project William is uh, going to be behind. So best of luck to him because it's a, it's a bold mm. mission. Mm. Yeah, potentially opening up some of his own property portfolio that he's inherited as Prince of Wales and uh, create some housing on there for um, disadvantaged people. So we could see that in the project. We could, definitely. And, and again, that's sort of something that is uh, often labelled at the, the royal, royal family. You know, they're sitting on billions of dollars. Uh, they have huge houses that are uh, on um, unused for large periods of the, of the year. And so if, if there is sort of this programme in place, then uh, listen, we can, we can only get behind it, can't we? Let's see mm. what happens. Mm. Mm. Yeah. OK, thank you, Russell.